what is going on everybody and today we have our uh franchise here where we are in week five of our franchise we are two and two on the season so hopefully we can go on ahead and get ourselves a victory offensively man as you guys see we're scrolling through randomly and we go on ahead and of course we go on ahead and land on a playbook i'm unfamiliar with but you know san francisco is definitely uh what i would like to think is one of the better playbooks in the game so um you know 49ers uh you know with the mobile qb and right there look at that strong power on the sean mccoy we'll be some dirt eat some dirt sonny good go eat some dirt son all the way is the first play of the game we score a touchdown like i was saying man san francisco you figure they're gonna have some uh some good pistol playbook in there with Kaepernick, and that's what, you know, they definitely use that scheme in real life. So definitely would like to think that, you know, they're going to have some good plays in there. Uh, I never ran San Fran, so um, I'm really not familiar with the offensive formations. But, hey, if LaShawn McCoy could get, you know, jiggy with it like that, we're going to have no problems. Look at the amount of time they have in the pocket. Like, really, we can't force any pressure whatsoever. The all Madden cheese is all too strong in this game. It's all too strong. Right there, you know, good pass by them. Can't complain about that. A nice little run right there. Just pancakes clogging up blocks. And, yeah, it gets it gets ugly trying to stop the damn computer on all Madden. They just are so uh, just they're Wow. So, right there, go through the flats. Bad pass. Third and seven right here. We end up forcing incomplete pass. My boy Schwinky forces the incomplete pass and we end up forcing them to kick a field goal so that right there is wonderful you know now we have an opportunity to go 14 to uh three and i would definitely love that man i would really enjoy a two possession game and uh, see if we could take it from there so right here we try to hit the outside but we get tackled before we could do anything right there just bad read by me third and 14 i'm gonna need y'all to take a look at that a gap though like look at that a gap though so uh, we're forced to give them the ball back and Oh man, look at this. I mean, I mean, are you got wow, please? Wow, wow, that guy's running like he's Barry Sanders, man. Like, come on, come on, son. That's some nonsense. I mean, what am I supposed to do there? I mean, seriously, the all man in nonsense is just non nonsense, man. Second and 12 right here again, another screamer they send at me. Uh, third and forever. Really got no choice, just try and chuck it up. And thankfully, they dropped that because they would have had excellent field position. So, um, just not playing good not playing good if i don't run the ball successfully in that first down i'm in trouble because i can't move the ball on second and third down right there they go towards the flats thankfully he didn't hit that post over the middle second and seven again going towards the flats which the computer seems to have every single play there's a route on the flats and it's so frustrating man uh right there we sent some pressure Schwinky comes around the Schwinky doing what Schwinky does man and we end up holding, hold, holding, holding. <laughs> we end up holding them to a field goal. So right now, um, it is thirteen to seven, and it's it's not looking good whatsoever. It, it's just not looking good at this point. Especially when you factor in the only touchdown was like some type of biblical run where they were just breaking tackles and and they end up scoring. So uh, right here, um, we end up going over towards the left side. We end up getting the catch with Stone. Our, our uh, well, our second round draft pick since we went ahead and traded our first round draft pick. So right here, man, here we go over there towards the left side, and we end up getting ourselves a first down. Really quick though, over there towards the left, man, just trying to dink and dunk and find open guys. They're calling a good, oh, beautiful adjustment by Stone. They're calling a good amount of man to man, and all we really want to do again is just take advantage of that. Right here, we hit the outside. Look at the footwork. Look at the vision. Uh, for LaShawn McCoy to score that touchdown. And that right there was very important because if we didn't get that, we most likely would have settled for a field goal. So that right there was huge. You know, now we're going into halftime with the one-point lead, and I definitely wasn't expecting to do that. So uh, that right there is definitely a big thing, big boost of momentum. And if you guys play on all Madden, I wouldn't recommend it because it, it, it's just it's frustrating. It's extremely frustrating. Oh, they're, they're beatable, but it's just so frustrating. We drop an interception right there. Uh, right here, we send a little A-gap. Little A-gap never hurt nobody, but doesn't matter. They get rid of the ball quickly. Third and five, and J.J. Swizzle comes up with the sack. And that right there was definitely uh, exactly what it was that we needed. Now we can go on ahead and potentially go up eight points with a touchdown here. Uh, right here, you know, hopefully we can, you know, just kill some time, man, cause some good plays. Right here, we got Carr throwing an absolute dot, but unfortunately after that play, he got injured and had to be removed for the remainder of the game. Look at these throws by the backup. Wide open, 
missed. Third down, wide open, missed. And I'm thinking to myself, oh no, no, no. I'm like, damn, we are in trouble. It's not looking good. It's not looking good, man. Carr, as bad as he is, <laughs> um, he's better than our backup. So I'm definitely a little worried. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little worried. I'm not used to playing with the backup, so I, I don't know what he's capable of. I just know I threw three passes. I mean, two, excuse me. And he failed miserably on both of them. So, But thankfully, our defense comes through with a huge stop, still giving us another opportunity to get that eight, uh, eight possession. I would love to be up eight possession. The eight-point lead, I should say. Right here, really quick dump off to LaShawn McCoy. Gets us a good game. Right here, we hit the outside. Eee! Barely getting up for the first down. Here we go back again to LaShawn and shoo, hoo, hoo, hoo. Get ourselves a good gain. Again, go back to the run, man. Uh, give the ball to you. Woo! Them spin moves, though. Them hit some nuts. So look at them spin moves, dude. I mean, come on. Can I get some credit on them spins, though? Can I get just the Scotia credit? I'm not asking for much. I'm not asking for much. I'm really not. Just a skosh of credit. Because that was absolutely astronomically biblical. The dual spin moves right there, getting us in position to score. And now we are up 21 to 13. And then a user interception. Womp, 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 womp. Pac-Man Jones, though. And then we go back to the man, the myth, the legend himself. Uh, we go back to LaShawn McCoy, who has continued, who has continued to put a hurting on, on them on the ground. Just really being uh, successful on the ground. And like I said, that right there is definitely a huge part of my game plan. Man, if I can run the ball pretty well, it's just going to make everything easier. So here we go again. We're already in field goal range. So at this point, no turnovers. And we're in a good position right here. So this play should bring us to the two-minute warning. We roll out. And look at the dot by the backup, man. I think we got ourselves a QB controversy. I think we got ourselves a QB controversy. Right here, not really interested in scoring. I mean, if it happens, great. But if not, we're fine with that. You know, we have no issues kicking a field goal whatsoever. And right there, we decided to go to the screen play. And unfortunately, man, we get uh, pushed out of bounds, which actually saves them a timeout. But nonetheless, we're up 11 points. So they're going to need a touchdown and an onside kick in order for them to go on ahead and make a comeback or score really, really, really quickly. Because uh, obviously, you know, they're down one timeout. So uh, right here on third down, they go towards the flats, and we end up stopping that. So on fourth and four, Stands in the pocket, a really quick hitch route right there, picks up the first down. Good call by them. So, uh, right there, go towards the flats again. You see me? Oh, I'm going for his. I'm trying to kill him. I'm trying to kill him. I'm trying to make sure that he gets, you know, hammered. So, uh, right here, second and 18. Throws off his back when we drop the game ending pick right there. Again, towards the flats. They do that so much, man. It's so frustrating. It feels like no matter what play you have. Unless you have, like, a cover two, but that's so easy to beat because my luck, they'll, like, go over the top or something like that. But they always have a route for the flats. Like, always, man. It's so frustrating. Uh, beautiful pass up the middle right here. But, unfortunately for them, um, they need an onside kick. Obviously, you know, 29 seconds left, two timeouts. They don't get this onside kick. Game is over, and we do recover. And we end up winning the game. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the game, man. We go on ahead, and we win. Um, so we are now three and two. We are in second place in the division. Browns are first five and oh. Hopefully you guys enjoy.